All right, folks, the deck is Dragon Control Warrior. The goal of the deck is to stack a bunch of armor in the early game, make good use of Onyxian Drake and Shield Slam to remove our opponent's stuff, and eventually work our way towards some high-value dragons, including Deathwing Mad Aspect, Raid Boss Onyxia, and Kazakasam to really find a legitimate win condition. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Where's Dead Man's Hand? I actually did consider it, but like... Um, then I thought about what the card does. Alright, uh... Yikes, Questline Hunter is a bit of a struggle. We're going to need to stack a lot of armor and maybe get a Bulwark, so let's hard mull for Forge of Souls. <laughs> or just draw two weapons instead. We have turned our oh. Into our Wait, that's much better for me, isn't it? Although it does make my mulligan a bit of an oof. Dead eye? Is that worth a minefield here? I think it is. Because they're likely to have another 2-3 and I don't want them to be able to hear it. Like, if they hit the uh, garrison commander, it's so much damage on uh, turn 2. Oh, now I don't even need to play the buckler. Ooh. Um... Honestly, that's not a bad hit for me. Like, the, if we're going to take a turn off, it might as well be to essentially match their turn off. So, I think I'm okay with that. Aim for the wheels. Actually make use of these weapons. No Bonk. Done. Maybe now I have too many weapons, but that heavy plate isn't looking too bad. Hey, welcome, Pedro. Aramstein. Take no prisoners. Bonk. Alright. Hey, Mohammed. Do I want the card draw or the armor? <clears throat> I think I actually want the uh, armor. Add more card draw. Thank you for the 21 months. I can't think of a clever joke, but thanks for all the content. You're very welcome. Thank you for that support. And Bloodseeker is uh, unlikely to get any value against me, so. Not too concerned about it. Like just like a dragon bane is my primary concern from here. Opponent deciding if to concede or not? Yeah. Seems that way, doesn't it? I think they rolled a pretty unfortunate matchup.
Oh. Wait, that actually changes things. That gives them some late game. gets to kill a huffer. But I lose like the consistent armor gain. Let's see if we can well this doesn't actually do anything anymore, does it? Because I drew the buckler. Right. No hmm? Okay, that gives me a card. Bohort, thank you for the 11 months. Really appreciate that. Sure. You made any good decks? I have no legendaries. Uh, yeah, quite frequently. just bash it into the opponent's face. Do I want to take that much damage, though? Unstoppable. I could put the damage on Deathwing instead, but that makes it kind of easy to remove, especially for an improved explosive trap. But what if I just take the damage to face and Deathwing him and start pressuring him? Cataclysm. Gives me. There's no freezing trap. Can't believe standard is as crazy as it is right now. I mean, this is like the craziest standard ever gets, right? Is the final expansion of the of the rotation sure. I'll do it again jeez All right, threatening lethal seems pretty good. Desert, thank you for the gifted sub. Really appreciate that. We didn't even need to draw into any of our wing. Well, I guess uh, Deathwing's a pretty good wing condition in this matchup. Yeah. That can't feel good. That also can't feel good. What's that last card? Is it another quick shot? Just smorking now. I mean, I was thinking the same thing, Tavish. This looks similar to the standard one with a few changes. I mean, I don't know. I just put cards together that make sense as a deck. I didn't really don't know what the standard version looks like of any deck. Vandal, the 
Another hunter? But do I just like have to keep the Kazakus man to uh like actually have a win condition against Questline? This scout, thank you for the 17 months. Maybe I shouldn't. No, uh, this is like only gonna get played if it's another even hunter. But if it's quest line, I probably don't give them minions. So that I can nullify some of their cards. But I drew a whole lot of minions. <laughs> uh oh. What do you think about people saying Gazakazan is a problem? I think that they're probably playing a different format than I am. White Marma, thank you for the three months. Hey, Ruffle Cool Hearthstone Deck Tracker application. What could be the name of this marvelous computer application? Where could I find it? A website to download it. Well, you can type exclamation point Firestone to download Firestone, who is, in fact, a sponsor of today's stream. So, Great question. Still got one more turn before that's a thing. No, oh, we do have lots of armor to gain. Um, <clears throat> kind of need to find like a shield shatter for the Avish, though. Pretty good pacing by the opponent here. Next turn is going to be this into this to kill the Tavish, and then I just have to slow the uh Oh, okay, maybe they don't even have a quest completion this turn. Oof. I drew into it. As long as that last card isn't furious how, which now that I am saying these words, I'm realizing that's a big mistake. Ian, thank you for the $2 tipping Roth coin. Ruffle, I hear that Firestorm is sponsor sponsoring your streams. They're not sponsoring me, but I'll give them props for being pretty great. I've been using them for Battlegrounds for quite a bit, and it helps my achievement tracking for heroes I don't have first place with yet. Download Firestone chat to support Ruffle and get some sweet features with your deck tracker. I mean, Twitch chat just selling out for me. Oh my god, they had it. Desert, thank you for the sub. 
Really appreciate that. I mean... Yeesh. Hey, there's the shield shatter. Alright. Things to go face. That was a bit of an oof towards the end. Alright. Shouldn't die from 18, right? Uh, that's not true, because they could have another Howl. No. Okay. You can gain 10 armor here at least. Or just kill them with the locusts. Let's maximize my armor gain this turn. Because I have the lethal set up with the. Two swings of the weapon. See more. Thank you for the nine months. Let me make sure I got everything because I've been desperately trying not to die to a. Oh, another quick shot. Okay. Whew. Oof. Two hundred percent win rate, by the way. Timor says, "Hey, Rolf, we're finally able to resub. Thank you always for your creativity. I've climbed these past few months with homemade Gonk Questline Druid, Rat Vault Hunter, and now Questline Demon or Kazakasan Demon Hunter. It's so rewarding to see your own creations kind of work. Well, congratulations. I'm glad you're enjoying that. I'm actually." Planning to do a uh, Kazakhstan demon hunter soon. Oh my god, that was so stressful. Alright, theoretically this should be a decent matchup, right? Just need to find my removal. Found some of it. Uh, the the bash is actually pretty good for dealing with their three drops and then just getting Forge of Souls early is a thing I kind of want to do. Uh, I should have traded this. I don't know what I was thinking. Other than I forgot that this had tradable. Pretty predictable turn one. Grab your cutlass. Let's buckle swash. Job done. I mean, if they keep hitting one health minions, I might as well blade storm this. I just blade storm it anyway. Bladestorm isn't great in this matchup, so is it going to get much better than this? Sure. Is the Bash better than Ranker? Sometimes. They do different things. So they're not really competing for the same slot in the deck. Someone's gotta lead the charge. <laughs> I 
I already drew one of their patches. Is an apple better than an orange? Uh, good question. Gives us a win condition, but I need to slow things down a little bit more. I haven't hit either of the the Mixian Drakes yet either. Can't make a screwdriver with an apple, true. Too heavy. A giant eye in iron. Yeah, that's slow at least. They're gonna get the Oh, they've already gotten the cannon shots. down this turn, which is a huge deal because I have no shield shatter. Go here. This is actually not a great use of the uh, bulwark, is it? So I can still get the seven to face. I don't think I'm going to win from here. In a box? Pirate stuff. only works if I hit a shield shatter this turn. Oh. I'm just gonna concede. I didn't count my mana very well for whatever reason. Yanni, thank you for the 14 months, but like I don't I don't win from there without like an a large scale removal because you cannot outvalue an aggro deck with infinite value. Uh, what am I expecting from mage? King mage? Speaker mage?
I'm gonna keep the heavy plate just to trade it away and actually use my mana on turn one. And mage? Yeah, that could be. I don't know, mage is kind of in a weird place right now. An incredible it's like secret mage. Got a lot of removal that I can make use of, so. I think there was a version of Ping Mage that did run a single Arcanologist just to pull the ice blocks, but that looks like a secret. Job done. Done. Yeah. My hand is too full. Who could have yeah, foreseen that one coming? Aside from the opponent, I guess. I'm late. I'm late. Oh. Oh. That's the second copy of Explosive Runes, so it's the last one I need to worry about. Hey, Luke. Excuse me. You are on fire. Test for counter here. Not it. Is it another rig fair game? No. Uh, it can't be explosive. Flame ward maybe. Kind of do need doing cards, right? Oasis ally. Never remember the Oasis Ally. Yeah. No, not that either. Gotta be Flame Ward or Ice Block, I guess. Play Pirate Warrior, but with a twist. I am. The twist is that there's no pirates or quest, and instead they're dragons. Yeah. I think that's a much better twist. Take no prisoners. Kind of trying to block the second uh, rigged fair game, but it's just going to go off here, isn't it? Got oh. legs, dragons. What you mean, dragon D's nuts? Got him. Okay, uh, are we done with counter spells yet? No, there's one more, right? Take no prisoners. Next turn, we get the Onyxia down. That's no more counter spells, no more explosive runes. Um, so it's it's flame ward and ice block maybe. What once was cloudy shall become clear. Look at us, Chad, getting to turn ten. Incredible. Nixie about to be turned into a sheep. That's not a real card. good I'm almost out of cards. that is true you are almost out of cards and you only have two fireballs and uh, one valet left so i don't think you're getting there friend I intend to deceive. 
God bless them, they're trying, though. Excuse me, you are on fire. Is that so? Wait, your fireball? Oof. I can't feel good at this stage in the game. Yes, I do. Somewhat surprisingly, the one deck we can't beat is a uh, Pirate Warrior. Check their name. So weird seeing Secret Mage lose to pretty much everything? I mean, yeah, because for so long nobody's been playing it because it loses to everything. <laughs> Just because of how Domino was for like two years? Yeah, maybe that gives us some hopium for uh, Pirate Warrior, right? I didn't mind Secret Mage nearly as much as I do Pirate Warrior, though, because I don't think that they're close to the same level. I just need an early Kazakasan in this matchup, right? Because I can't possibly, like, do enough to remove their stuff. Oh, hey. All right, now you got to dodge the uh, the rats. Yeah. I wouldn't mind this getting ratted. Exclamation point rat? Oh. Okay. Well, I found my rat protection now, didn't I? Your deck is almost standard, lol. I do not care. You know what they call an almost standard deck, though? A wild deck. Avoid playing minions if I don't have to. And I want to look for burst off of the Kazakus man. Didn't see a lot of uh, Buzz Boys back into these lists, and it does not make sense to me. I'm 
not sure what I thought happened there. Uh, maybe I was thinking I played the heavy plate instead. I don't know. That seemed real dumb, though. <laughs> yep, nice totem you got there. To be honest, it doesn't really matter what I burned in that state because I'm just always playing a tempo Kazaka Sam. Like, that's the only way I could possibly win this, so. Wow. Wow! Yeah, just want locusts and books. got enough removal, so I guess it's the Rager. Book. This goes face. I need more face! This goes face. I've got relatively cheap treasures, right? Job done. They have Devolve? That's fine. They have to draw it still, and what? Like I didn't really have great options. Aside from that, I brawling this or no? There are better brawls. Let's develop the minion here. I don't really need to worry about rat so much anymore. Life and hope are worth fighting. But I held on to the brawl. Oh, he just won't die. That's a big oof. Wow, that just destroyed me. I can't beat Reno, so hope they don't have it. You playing this deck ironically? Uh, no, I'm playing this deck because I want to play the deck. 
What is your obsession with how standard the deck is? Wait, they had two? They got both of those? Ha what? That is unbelievable. That's lethal, right? Ignis, thank you for the eight months. Guess we got got. Hey, bio. Thought we were in a good spot there. Panda versus Garrosh. Oh, no. Okay. Honestly, like, I gotta keep the shield shatter, right? I need to be able to do a mega clear, and I think Rokara is legitimately one of the only ways to get there, so. Just gonna keep Rokara for, like, a turn six big clear, or maybe earlier if I can start stacking armor fast enough, but like, the deck's relentless to the point where like, earliest I can get there is turn 5 with this, which isn't that much faster than turn 6. Just trade this for a better card. That's actually not bad. Sorry, what? Oh, they must have a cannon. Does that mean I want to rip the buckler here? If I hit the buckler and I don't take more than five, I can go shield block into shield chatter next turn if we have the read that they have a cannon. This has the added benefit of like stacking armor for the um, Onyxian Drake follow up as well, so I regret nothing. Why I wanted to hold the bash, but next turn I can go bash minefield. Hey, Umbra. Grab your cutlass. Let's buckle swash. Someone's got to lead the Jeez. charge. If I go Bladestorm Mines field, this is like maybe the best Bladestorm is going to be. Hmm. And I'm going to take the cannon shots that remove the armor anyway. The next turn is where I start setting the the armor. I want them to go wide here. 
So I can go coin Rokara into Shatter. Doesn't look like it's wide enough, does it? Hmm. sure they wanted to play the Rokara here, but the way this is lining up, if I coin the Rokara this turn, I can clear this and then also follow it up with an Anixian Drake. Bash phase. I've got this weapon that's probably more important because my cards are getting pretty light here. Thoughts on bullet cards for quests? I don't understand the question. Set sail! The is under my command. Well, this would have been a good blade storm now, but I wasn't expecting that to be a possibility here. Either way. Gotta start pressuring them. Okay. Got two weapons that I kinda need to get working. Yikes. Good god. Bullet cards are cards that block a win condition for the opponent. I've been playing card games for 20 plus years and I've never heard that term. For what it's worth. Play the Deathwing. It could also go here into here plus a... Yeah, let's actually draw. But I think that that's a that's potentially a more toxic uh, answer to quests than quests are toxic, you know. Um, because yeah, it's it's dumb that quests can be like one card win conditions, but it's like worse to have that completely counteracted by a single card because at least quest lines like are restrictive in your deck building and require effort to complete in some cases. Um, so I think that would just be a bad idea. Never mind, give me that card. Make it a dragon. What great fun that matchup is. Vandar Stormpike versus Ragnaros. Oh. Uh, Shaman is once again just like rushed to the uh, Gazakus man. This battlefield will be mine.
Imagine how easy the uh, the Pirate Warrior matchup would be if they didn't have the quest line to give them infinite value in the late game. Like, I'd legitimately just farm them mercilessly. And that's why the quest line is dumb. Uh, I just need to stack as much armor as I can. Uh, the blade storm, though, is good at removing their frog, so at least they don't get two turns of it. There's no way they coin a Drek'thar here, though, right? You check Secret Mage during the Barons and see Pirate Warrior from the last VS report, the Pirate Warrior is very polarizing. I mean, it's only polarizing when it has almost entirely favorable matchups. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to need to turn off here. I guess it's certain that they're going to have a turn off here, given how much they overloaded, so. Just one more frog I need to worry about. They don't have it this turn at least. Am I dead though? Can't be that big of a. Okay, it can be a big overload. Or overdraft rather. But that's both lightning blooms, right? Gotta swing first. There you go. I didn't even use the overdraft. Th oh, overdraft next turn, so gotta stack the armor. I, I this is the 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 core blast, right? So, uh, oops. I'm just gonna slam this now because I do not want to mess around with any. Yeah. Ooh. Hank up, rank up. Was the Angoro Quest Warlock ever viable in Wild? No, it's never been viable in any format because it is a trash card that makes no sense with uh, discard cards which play for tempo, it plays for value, and then gives you atrocious value at that. Like, it's just never been, nor is it ever going to be a good card. And, like, you can say, 
Well, you, you can say, well, you can't say that without knowing what they're going to print later, but no, like it's antagonistic with the game plan of discard decks. And um, it's also just like not, a, unless they repurpose it completely, it, the reward is never going to be worth. Warlock means I need to rush the Gazakazan because it could be Mechathun. And if it's Mechathun, I'm probably dead. Gotta coin the Gazakas, man. It's not possible. You're not possible. Uh, the deck also runs rats, so I may need to hold these just to, uh, I don't know, pretend like I can play this game. Why is that button not working? I'm just gonna start swinging upstairs, you know? Pretend like I can actually pressure them, but it's more about setting up for, like, faster Kazamicus kills. Probably worth playing one of these. Let's trade this because armor doesn't matter here. before Owl. I mean, whether it's Owl or Mechathun, like, the game plan is identical for me. My health total doesn't matter, and I just need to apply as much pressure as my deck possibly can and coin out the Gazamicus. Like, there's no world in which we out-armor Owl Warlock, so I'm just happy that they haven't hit a, uh, that. Happy that they haven't hit at that yet. Yeah, it's actually not bad because it gets me more of the treasure cards. I just want stuff that goes face. Oh. Okay, maybe one of these survives. I've already got a weapon, so it's just got to be this. Book. Ghost face. Uh, these aren't the greatest for the situation. My minions just, like, Plague of Flames just exists, right? So somehow I need to stick a board, but I don't have a way to really build a board other than the Anoya Horn. Um, honestly, a double Book of Death can make them dead, though, right? Is with the weapon swings. So, we just have to hope that that's enough and it gets there quickly enough. The weapon being kind of late maybe does something. They're also almost out of healing and I haven't played any backfires yet. So maybe there is some hope. Hey, Costa. Side 
Okay. Oh, I guess that's their... Yeah. That and uh, one more touch is their last bit of healing. Okay. They're officially out of healing, chat. It's also a minion not being used for their... Um, Plague of Flames, so I'm okay with it. I guess I have one more armor vendor as well. Oh, they're just gonna hit the plague off of this, right? 50-50? Oh, of course. Well. Okay. That's not bad. About as well as I could have gone with those two cards, right? Sapphire Raider. I give her the prime. Yeah, second plague incoming, I imagine. Compensation for having to deal with Twitch chat? Well, sometimes Twitch chat is all right, but I appreciate it. Oh, it's this deck. I guess my armor did matter. If I play the Bulwark, I can't actually get lethal through anything other than Book. So I think Bulwark is a huge punt. I think I just have to hope, like, because if I play the Bulwark, I have to survive two turns of fatigue. Or get super lucky off of the Book of the Dead, right? I don't think I can play the Bulwark. I think it's more likely that... SHUT UP ABOUT THE BULWARK CHAT! One, two, three, four, like the one and four. And like, there's a good chance I don't even survive with the Bulwark because it only eats five, four points of fatigue. Like I'm in the process of explaining why I'm not playing the Bulwark and everybody's saying, but the Bulwark, Bulwark, Bulwark. Get lucky here. Not a good start. One more kills me, which is pretty I likely. Rid you of your body. Ah! 
Yeah, keeping a full hand is a possibility, but it also makes it so that I don't have a way to win the game. these two together means I can probably put away the shield block keep the heavy plate to trade on one a good opener rat would have blocked the full hand strat anyway so would have the Gazakas. But like even based on the information that I had it wasn't a good play Like, I can't make decisions based on information I didn't yet have because they could have cut the rats. Going to trade the plate on turn one, why not mulligan it anyway? Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter though, because like I'm not, there's literally nothing I can use my one mana for, so at least this gives me the impression or makes me feel better about not using my mana, so it's like I don't think there's any real difference. I kind of want to get more out of them than this. I'm going to go ahead and trade this. A captain would be a bit of a bummer here, but at least we get to clear a captain next turn. cards out of them, at least. Fortunately, this is uh, very much a losing hand. I don't have anything proactive to do, so I'm just dead by the time the Juggernaut comes online, because the opponent can just, like, uh, watch the Juggernaut play the game for them and then slowly kill me. Fly, pony. So. As it stands, we're in a very unwinnable position. If there are any cards like even in my deck that would change that. It's just desperate to get rid of the cannon here, but this hand is doo doo.
right. They didn't have a two mana pirate last turn, right? Although I could maybe shield slam and uh, blade storm if they do. Fin deck. Thank you for the prime. Good sign for me, but I still need something more here. That's more. Oh my god, it did that in the wrong order. That was so dumb. Just get me out. I should have just conceded on like turn four or five when I lost the chance of winning. hate playing against that deck so much and I have like no chance of winning regardless. Reno Paladin, it's turn zero. <laughs> Maybe wait to see a card before we make predictions. I think Hambuff is still more popular because it's still a better deck than Reno Paladin. I wouldn't mind a Reno Paladin. But you don't get extra points for predicting it before anything happens. 100% a rogue? Well, be careful. You get a 10 minute timeout if you're wrong. Uh-oh. I don't think there's too much reason to overreact here. The problem is, like, they do have healing that can offset some of the... Expecting to see that card in this deck. It's the Librum Paladin. I cannot wait to read. I was right. See? Look how much more accurate I can be, Chad, if I just wait a little bit. And get a sense of what cards are in their deck. Say that as though it's possible for you to ever learn. Take no prisoner, Libram Resonant Sleeper? What are you talking about? Libram Paladin is awesome. You can get like Idis uh, machine gun action going. A real fun deck. And yeah, at least it's not yet another pirate warrior. Take no 
Only draws one now. Our hardships only strengthen Oof. That's a big deal to get that early. She wouldn't. Oh man, I was not prepared for this. I might have to give up the. Uh... Good God. I think it does 10. They have a lot more waves of threats is the problem and like the brawls get more valuable the more um, I do love the bigger their stuff gets. I really don't have a great answer to divine shields either. Either of these. Or do I just have to give up the bulwark here? Hmm. Penguins fan, thank you for the 30 months. Give me a little bit more um, value off of the weapon. I need to save the brawl for at least the Liadrin. No, the Lonessa, not the Liadrin. Yeah, there goes the weapon. Honestly, a Nixia wouldn't be bad here. Minefield do much? Get lucky off of a brawl. A one and three. I need a plan. And then just assume that uh, Kazakistan saves me. the minefield. You are my foe and nothing more. Would you look at that?
Need to get lucky again. Oh! Oh, that broom is the champion. Oh god, they're just gonna have the Lanessa here, aren't they? <laughs> uh, I just gotta... I have to play the Gazakas man next turn, I think. This magic. <laughs> yeah, that was inevitable. I get only two of the uh, Librem of Hopes, right? Oh my god. Uh, I'm dead. Unless I hit Onyxia off the top, but they just... They hit the nuts. And just honestly have a pretty good matchup against me. I never am going to have time to get the uh, Usakis man down. Yeah, there's no outs for me. Seven, technically not dead here, but there's no single My card out. Yeah, I'm dead. It's all over. I don't know what type of mage it is, but I feel like our mulligans are pretty similar regardless. Let's look for armor gain and removal. This is good if it's secret mage, it's probably worth keeping. Well, we've got some armor, so maybe it's secret mage? That would be nice. I wouldn't mind a Reno Mage either. Planets and stars! Power for the taking! Could be big smell, but probably handmade, right? With a full keep, which is scary. Do I kill that? I don't really want to take three early. Ignite Mage, because that one I absolutely can't win. So I think I just lost this game. I've been seeing that deck coming back, and... There's no amount of armor I can gain that, uh... Beats that. Yeah, GG. Maybe a Reno deck? Nope. You don't run those combination of tradable cards unless you're Ignite Mage. I miss Secret Mage, me too. I actually got to play the game against it. Unlike, uh, unlike these decks, where I don't get to play the game. 
I just get to watch my opponents play the game. This battlefield will be mine. I don't miss it, chat. You're like, I don't understand how any of the decks that exist right now are better than are better than queuing up against it. Like Secret Mage was a deck where healing mattered. Like control strategies actually beat it. You could run it out of resources. I don't think it's even close. The game was much healthier when Secret Mage was the best deck. Yeah. If I can get this on curve, that might give me a chance. Wait, what? Did I get baited? I'd rather have one hour battle against priests and secret mage. Those are very different things first of all and like the the thing that you want can't exist anymore because of the decks that push secret mage out of the the metagame while it could exist theoretically against a deck like secret mage so it's not that i like miss playing against secret mage because i loved uh having to like guess around the secrets it's just like secret mage wasn't a deck that beat everything and so it was you actually saw other decks in the format, whereas like Pirate Warrior's grip on the metagame is uh, pretty limiting in terms of what decks can be played. Oh my god. Could this actually be a mirror match? It's beautiful, chat. And we get an early Kazakas man? Is that going to be good though? Like, yeah, probably. I just need to go for, like, still go for the aggressive, uh, stuff. The rest of my hand is kind of bad in this matchup though, because it's all pretty reactive. Jeez. Alright, I mean, hand so bad I kind of am forced to uh, go for the Gazaka's man next turn. Okay, well, what if I just play this? My creation, the treasure hoard. These are annoying. I don't know if I can get there with just damage, right? I can try. I've got a lot of spells. Okay, Locus is good. Locus and Bo- oh my god. <laughs> okay. We're in business now. That's why I didn't feel good about the Deathwing, just going in naked like that when it dies to Shield Slam, the, the opponent's current health total. Gotta try and sneak it out sometime, right? But yeah, we did get an obscene amount of damage, uh, which we're going to need because the opponent is at 47 already. Not a very clean clear, at least. Are they going for some sort of combo? Is this Noggin Fogger Warrior? <laughs> no, they're clearly uh, 
for it, um, Dragon Warrior in it. Okay. I mean, I guess I just have to use my mana doing this. Remove their armor. never seen that card in my life played against me, I don't think. Nice. Oh. oh that last one is lagging. Turns out it was a good choice to get the Kazakus man down early. Cute locust? I mean, they're pretty for locust, but I, I don't know that I call them cute. Oh god! <laughs> Just immediately answered with a single card. Oh my god, that was brutal. I think I want the Anoya Horn here. Well, didn't get it. Let's keep pointing those up at their face. And the Ranker. No? Okay. Do I play this here? Where's their weak point? Yeah. I feel like I'm too weak to brawl if I do that. Have you ever picked the treasure jar? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not like a high priority pick. In fact, it's pretty bad at times, but it's a fun choice if you can get things that build a board like, well, like we did here. Okay. It's a good opening for me. Because I don't think, like, it's going to be very hard for the opponent to get things that are anywhere near the quality of treasures that we got. And we've got a life total lead. So, I think we'll be fine here. I'll probably even just go face with these and shield slam that. Have another slow turn. some good value off of that, unfortunately.
Brawl Bait. Match is going to last forever? Have you, what? <laughs> Have you seen the uh, things that I got? Like, it's going to be over very soon once I draw the books. It's only going slow because the opponent's taking so long. Yeah. Probably need to rip an Annoia horn here unless I hit an... Well, even with the other clockwork, it's not great, but the horn's pretty good. to play the book here. I've got 14 damage from the book, plus once my board is clear, I have four... Like, I can just clear my own board, too. Once I hit the second book. I did get a pretty good set of secrets. Or secret stuff. Uh let's see. I have 14 burst from hand. For some reason, I always think they're one ones because that's something that's actually balanced. <laughs> oh wow, so many, so many quests getting completed there. I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. <laughs> 